hello everyone welcome to summon tools today we're gonna do cold drills no more basic service for the cold drills so customer bring one here for me to have a look and see what happened so what we do normally we go put on the power and we check from a to z first of all <coughs> put this one away first check the leads first of all check the uh, circuit breaker switch power line put on and then test push test this one so it's working and then press you can see when I spread a lot of dust and sand came out from here and you can see this cold drill been through a lot and have a lot of water in uh, sand and dust got in so we do we clean up and blow and service the motor the brush the lead and then we open up from this part and check the clutch we might have to tight tight extra tight so the clutch is not going to split this is no more basic to every other cold drills we let the cold drill go and test so put on the power and test So the lead, the power go in good. I got the four bolt and check the process. You can see when we knock up the cap here, a lot of dust and sand in here. So in here is a lot. So when you turn on the um, drill, you can see sand and dust fly everywhere. So that can come into your eyes. Be careful, okay? With a lot of dust and sand. So it's been working in the rain in the sand, in the dust, in the mud, in the dust, and mud okay for you will see moment of truth here we go and this is the ugly cover you see sand and dust and mud here here this is what we're talking about the brush is still good we may service the motor check the bearing the bearing make a little bit noise too you can hear that the bearing make a bit noise so if we can have the uh, number the bearing numbers we can replace the number of bearing for 6000 it's the 6000 i don't know i have any 6000 bearings okay we finished cleaning up the part you can degrease or spray whatever you want and this one clean it as long as you don't have any sand and dust here okay I put in my uh, washing bay a lot of dust here see this caused the problem when this one go in here when this one fly in here it make like a sandpaper and it may damage your armature out this armature this will cut your arm and legs it's about some people can get for 250 if they lucky if it's 250 I would buy some and put on my one but sometimes you get 350 sometimes 450 we never know okay keep this safe you have to clean all this shit first okay for this alone i'm gonna blow stand away from the air and grab yourself a little brush we can lift on the spot like this spray the greaser and i grab myself a brush do the good clean up like how you got toilet Whenever you see dirty, clean it up, like how you do go toilet, okay? I don't say good or bad. The greaser can go in here later, blow it all up, make it all dry before you can use it again. Destroy everything here, clean all around. Okay, we do this first. What we need to do, we do first and then uh, we do the clutch later. So how are you basic cleaning this core drill? It's basic very 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 easy, okay? When it's all done. Okay, if you don't feel safe, if you don't feel safe, do it again. Do it one more time. So never hurt okay 
So now make sure turn off the power. And people say I do wrong. I have no idea. You do it. This part is done. We're gonna clean this one and put this one back and then we're gonna pull out the uh, the gear, the clutch. Simon, you are super clean, man. Now we can put this one back. So, deep path done, put everything back and then undo this four bolt. We're gonna take, check the clutch and put extra oil. So check the oil too and clean down this part here. Okay. Okay, not on, not on. One on. Okay, we got the top bit done. And we take this one out. And we go, we go the, we go the bottom bits, okay? bottom bits you need extra longer extra extra longer this one here okay got some we got some company here buddy it's got a lot of dust in the bolt and screw here so using this one make the hole bigger all the dust out and ready to go Okay. Mm. Tastes like chocolate. Okay, okay. Okay. What we do? What we do? We're gonna lift this gap together. We're gonna open from here. So we don't want to touch this one because if we pull this one out, the armature will come out will damage the brushes just leave it like that so the bottom the top end done so what i do i lift it up and put in my uh, hole maker and then use my super skill what i do is okay we know the target this one go this way okay you know the the drill this one go the handle that, that way so you never make, get mixed up oh, it's hard man okay we got you out baby got you out baby got you out baby you will see the whole world here and uh, if I were you, I blow. I blow. Make sure all the dust inside there come out first before I open up, just in case the dust go inside the oil where the gear is. See? We check this one as well. <clears throat> as you see, the oil, see, as long as they are like this, all right. But if it's creamy, creamy uh, like chocolate or coffee it's no good this one's still all right this one when i turn the barber only not that bad it's not like water not like water and oil in together so we're gonna clean this part out try them all out clean it and uh, i will show you i will take it to my bucket and clean up and i come back this end i take it with me okay i come back okay i done a good clean up look nice and clean like brand new tools brand new, brand new tools normally the drill come like this everything is still work just in case the dust and all that it's not the point why they bring here the saw the tools 
Now bring here the tools for service. You check the brush and everything here working good. The main key is not here. The main key is here. So all every other gear it work all right. All the gear down here no trouble. But the gear down here is the trouble. In this gear it have a little clutch. So we better put it out and tight 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 the bolt here. For the clutch inside here go down better and it should be all right. Other way even uh, doesn't matter what you do. It's split. That's why they bring the so the tools for you to repair for service. Other way you know when they work it's work and even the, this dirty or whatever it is they don't care. They just use it. If it's work it still work. All the problem is here. It's the clutch is split. That's why they bring the tools here. Okay, I got my little like grips grip in here. Mm. Come on, man! Here we go. This come out. See that how it come out and. Uh, we put the racks around, put on the vise, undo this bolt, and then tie them on and see how good the clutch. And before you tie, put a bit of the lock tight and tie the bolt down, so it's not gonna come back with. All inspection, all the gear, everything here is still good. Nothing wrong with it. All good. So that's the key here. Why I bring here? Because this one. Put on the vise. If no vise, you can't do it. Rub in piece of uh, clothes. Rub on the gear. Super tight down. Super tight, okay? Don't let it split. Super tight. And put this one, rather gun. Out. Okay, okay, it's out. So that's what we talk about. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Something is falling down on me, brother. <laughs> See, man. See, check all the clutch. All the clutch is still good. But the um, problem for this one now is the uh, tighten. See, you need to tighten down more. So that's why we have to release and uh, get the uh, tight, tight down. Or if you can have a little washer, push it down more, yeah, and tighten down, down, will be better. That's what I do to make the clutch more pressure on it. Because the clutch is still good. The clutch is still good. Inspection, the clutch is still good. Okay, now all we do is uh, get some little washer, put on here, and when you press it, it go down more, and it will be tight more. Okay, washer that goes for the pin here. Now I got my lock tight, and uh, make sure I put plenty of lock tight here, along here, not on the clutch. Okay, along here, and I tight tight. When you tight. Tight, tight it on, buddy. So I put on number one. This one too short. So I got number one on my red gun, and I guarantee this clutch will work and hold until this gear broken. So that's how I do. I don't know what about you, but me, what I do because I make extra push down on the gap, the clutch here, so it will tie down more, and then it give you better, okay? So now, what we do is to put them on, just like that, okay? To put it down until they online, very easy.
so make sure they are online and you'll be happy okay so you can it's online now what we can do is uh, using a mallet hammer and snap him down like how you get them out how you get them down so make sure it's all the way down and that attack to here you never go wrong now we got to put some uh, it's called gear oil always use gear oil and fill up the uh, gear oil all the way all the way there okay that way I filled up all the way here okay you see the gear start to fill over that's where I fill up the oil. So now I can put everything back. And uh, I guarantee this clutch never split. And it worked very well for you. One more clean around here. Run this edge. I put it down. Put it on. So that was this way. That was this way. Okay, turn this one, yep, make sure the gear is on, okay, on, so um, we not go wrong from there, okay, this is the super long one, super long bolt, so I go in, yep, it's on, beautiful, super long bolt on, so it's on, 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 now to around this way. Let's put this one on and it will go on itself. So beautiful. Make sure the trills is no dust flying out. No dust flying out, sell fresh and you'll be happy. really good that number two this number three number five. and number one try wrap how if you can okay me I don't know I can hold it so that's it Everything worked perfectly. Okay guys, thanks for watching Simon 2. This is how basic you service the Waka core hole drills in the normal service. When they come, everything works. You must know you have to clean cleaning all this one. All the dust, water, sand got in here, you name it. And then that's not the main key. The main case is here, the gear is split, that's why they bring it for you. So that's what I do earlier. What I do, open up, check the clutch inside, and then get, make a little wash on the top, tie it down with, um, with the uh, Loctite, or what I call, the, um, yeah, Loctites, and then you can tie them very tight, and it go down more, and it will hold it for good. The clutch is only holding, it's a safety for just in case something super hard, it will split itself so they don't hurt yourself on the on the drills so that's what it designed for but when i bow it down like that it's super grip down so, so it must be something very very strong to hold it other way it worked very well okay guys thanks for watching seven tools see you in next videos